Hello everyone and welcome back to our Blind Let's Play, Sam and Max Hit the Road. My name is Butler Spur, this is your story based gaming channel, and today we're uh, continuing this game. want to say thank you to everyone who supported the first episode. I think it's probably our most supported at first episode that we've had in quite some time, so really do appreciate you all. Um, what do we do here? Uh, okay, well, um, we're trying to find some secret because there's a person here that we're told hides on the Tunnel of Love, and she's sorry he's hiding somewhere in this picture because we just activated the thing here, which means it's got to be somewhere here, right? Uh, maybe it's like one of the people. Just another random acts of violence. Uh, random acts just of violence? Just another random acts of violence. Feel like... Just another random acts of violence. Come here, Max. What's up? Check this out. <laughs> oh my god! I'll never shave again. <laughs> you never did. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic day. Um, this is the dark humor that this game has, apparently. Just another random acts of violence. Okay, uh, this door opened up. I've been, I think I was trying to open this door before. Just had to look around, I guess. And here's the guy that we're supposed to talk to, probably. It's Max. I'm not trying to look at Max, I'm trying to look at his fridge. Yeah, I really miss the, uh, the convenience of um, some modern day point click adventure games where you can uh, highlight everything you can interact with. This looks like the Tunnel of Love reset switch. Just like it's a bowling alley. Uh, it, it, I think he's trying to tell me a clue here, too. I can't pick that up. There. That should get things running again. Okay, so that's going to allow me to exit, probably. Go to the eye. And something here. How just put us in his native habitat. Okay, I don't see anything else we can interact with. I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. <laughs> How just put us in his native habitat. He's not my type. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Who are you? I'm Doug, the Mole Man. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. <laughs> what do you want from me? Uh, I do want to say that I wasn't here yesterday um, putting out videos because I actually have an ear infection at the moment. And uh, I don't know how long I'm going to last today. This will probably be the only video I produce uh, for today's episodes just because of that. I did get some medicine though, saw a doctor, so that's all good. Watch eating. Little boy blue blobs. They've got enough sugar to keep me going for hours. Like sugar, huh? What the heck are you anyway? <laughs> I'm a mole man. Figure it out. I think he's a mole man, Sam. What the heck are you anyway? Is that the same? I think he's a mole man, Sam. You know, watching too much TV is super bad for the eyes. Why do all you squishy, poorly focused blobs say that? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, so the reason I pressed the question mark twice is because, um, uh, I was given a, uh, a tip that, like, when you talk to the person once, uh, you then gotta talk to him again, uh, in order to, in order to get him to, um, you know, actually say something. So you press question mark, and that's like uh, the, the way to talk to him. Then you press it again, and that gives you the, the normal conversation. Uh, thank you to Isaac Walters for pointing that out. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm someone who says don't spoil me for story or uh, clues unless I ask for help. But something like that is a basic game mechanic that I didn't know. I don't know what these buttons do. So now I know that whenever I talk to someone, press that same button a second time just to make sure uh, I've, you know, done that action. 
You know, watching too much TV is super bad for the eyes. Why do all you squishy, poorly focused blobs say that? Never mind. It says poorly focused. I think that's all for now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right. Shoot. You can find your own way out. Ah, oh, I forgot. That's the uh, the goodbye button. Ah, uh, and I hey, need to uh what? open up the uh Do you know dialogue. anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? Why the stories I could tell you. Well, tell me the stories. Sam, he's gonna tell us a story. <laughs> I first met Bruno 25 years ago. Oh my ago God. <laughs> Several hours later. <laughs> was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus and shut up for god's sake just <laughs> shut up look we just want to know where bruno is now gee i have no idea where he went maybe you should talk to my uncle your uncle yeah my uncle shavul he's really into bigfoots okay where is when he I at? was a kid he used to tell me stories about giant bigfoot parties where all the bigfoots of the world would get together and dance bigfoot dances and that's great kid where can we find your uncle i don't know he disappeared <laughs> a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on earth largest ball of oh hello Largest I ball of twine. I may weep openly. <laughs> you two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. Yeah, Absolutely. You can trust us as far as we can throw you. <laughs> so if you bring me some pecan flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. I'll also tell you a big secret about how Bruno escaped. Why not tell us now? Because I'm hungry. All right. So I need to get candy. I think that's all for now. Fine. You can find your own way out. Let's see here. Um. No, I don't have the magnifying. Yeah, I thought I had the magnifying glass. Where is it? This? I don't think he'd want that. No, I think that's the uh. I think that's the uh flashlight. I was trying to see if I could give him the lens as like a glasses or a monocle to help him see better. But I guess what we need is we just need candy, and we don't have candy. So we're gonna have to come back here once we find some candy. And I think that's actually it with the tunnel of, well, I think that's it for the entire carnival. Cause I didn't see anywhere where we could buy candy. And that's the, uh, the thing we need. So I think it's time to actually go on the world map. We could go to the ball of twine. We could go to the fish. We could go to the burger. Uh, let's go to the burger because it's like three of them. They all take us to the same place, Nuckies. So what the heck is Snuckies? It's a great little car. Snuckies. If Max spontaneously grew antlers, he still wouldn't be this ugly. <laughs> It's Max. I'm gonna look at Max. And this is what they do to merry-go-round horses who won't stay with a pack. Ooh. I can't pick that up. I'd ride this fiendish quarter grabber, but my lumbago's acting up. That makes it, um, Max ride it? No way. Max will spook the horse. <laughs> can I, uh, can you move Max? I'm trying to see if I can pick up the, uh, the trash on the floor. It's one of those jumbo size all you can drink Snuckies cups. It's almost as big as my head. Let's pick it up. Eventual gaming number one. Uh, pick up anything that's nailed I down. Pick that up. And the things that are nailed down, try to find someone to remove the nail downness of them and then pick them up. How do I, uh, okay, there we go. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's an official Snuckies anvil. Gotta go to the bathroom? It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max portable car bomb games. <laughs> it is. It actually is. I got it. It's a shelf full of Snuckies crap. Yes, I heard you gotta go to the bathroom. Chill out. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's a box of pecan flavored candies. Oh, I need that. All right. Grab. No way. Max tried to swallow one. Wait, did I just get a bomb? It's the portable car bomb. Game. <laughs> I just got a bomb. I gotta go to the bathroom. Hey, I hear you. Hold on. 
Trying to pick up this candy. There we go. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's a box of pecan flavored candies. All right. Well, we got the candy. Try to see if we can. Get... Yeah, I hear you. I'm trying to. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish? I'd have to go to Snucky you for another six years before I could run this place. <laughs> but enough about me. What can I do for you? Snucky you? What's that? I sense exposition, Sam. <laughs> I'm glad you asked, mister. <laughs> Snucky you is where all Snucky's employees are sent to learn the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the overs, and the unders of the amazing gastronomical <laughs> and cultural phenomenon that is Snucky's. Fascinating. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> At Snucky You, we're given intensive courses in patty pounding, choosing the right button for soft drinks, and the all-important pickle jar opening. <laughs> I had no idea you were so rigorously trained. Hey, I can open any jar in the country. Cool. Well, that's... No, it's not. Probably important. Now, how can I put all that Snucky You training to use for you? So if I need something open, I need to remember this. I probably won't. Because right now I'm sick, so do me a favor, you guys. If later in the game I find something that I need open and I forget this guy exists, just friendly reminder. Hey, Flutless Bird, remember there's a guy stuck here so you can open anything. Alright? Oh, I smell beef fritters. Beef fritters? <laughs> we dip the cows right here in the kitchen. So, what? what do you want? Wait, what? The. Oh. I smell beef fritters. Be we dip the cows right here in the kitchen. You dip the so, cows? I I'm afraid now. Are you sure Snucky U's not in the bowl coalition? Positive. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, toilet. My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned. I need a bathroom. <laughs> They're in the back. Here's the key. It's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? Nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. Hmm. The keys? The restrooms. <laughs> you need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? And off he goes. Hey, can you open this for me? Oh, sure. Speaking of, jar made, I can't open. Oh, I can see him in the background. Hey! Anything else I can do? <laughs> you even hear the applause. I now, for some reason, just have a hand. Do you know anything about Bigfoots? Only what I read in the weekly International Evening Inquirer Star. Anything else? I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Oh, I gotta buy it. Do we have to pay money for this crap. Them's the rules. Ah. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. I don't have money. I don't know if there's a way to give the, the stuff to Max. Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to give them to Max. There's gotta be something with the uh, the bathroom here. Like, you have to do something. Here's your key. Or maybe Max going to the bathroom pick something up. Oh, I don't see anything. Jesse James severed hand. And it's still twitching. Ew. Can we give him the cup? And get a refill? I don't think he'd want that. I don't think he'd want that. Mm. He's one hell of a soda jerk. He's not my type. I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. Hey. Let's talk to this he guy really here. Loves his ice cream. He's not my type. It's my little. I don't think he'd want that. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I would be meeting ice cream too. Leave me alone. I'm eating ice cream. Excuse me. What? Sharing this experience with you has reminded me. I want Twinklies! More Twinklies! <laughs> okay. Now you walk back this way. No, I can't. Alright, I need money. And, uh... 
I either didn't get money when I left, or I have to find money somewhere I can't pick that up. In, a, uh, in an area. What's more likely? Did I miss money in the house, or do I find money at one of these two locations? Well, we could always go to the two locations and try to find out, and then we could loop back around. Uh, we'll go to the ball of yarn first. Wow! You need a gondola to get... Oh my god, look at this place. The world's largest ball of twine. They are not kidding. Yep, it's still our car. <laughs> oh my lord. As one big ball of twine. Why does something like this exist? Holy cat heaven. How long did you <laughs> it took him to wind this immense ball of twine? More importantly, how did they get it to stop rolling once it was all wound? Yeah, that, that's that's a very good question. Um, uh, what's going on outside? Now, something you don't see every day. What the hell are you talking about, Sam? We dump our fish heads out the window all the time. Oh. Yeah, but these are halibut. Oh. He's not my type. I don't think he'd want that. He looks like my 8th grade English teacher, <laughs> but with more warmth. <laughs> Do you work here? Yep, have been for 40 years. So how can I help you? How'd you get this job anyway? I clawed my way to the top, trampling those foolish enough to get in my way. Wow. That, that's, that's some dedication right there. Stop staring at me. I can't help it. it it's very disturbing. It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. <laughs> well, they've got one of these too, but half of it's French. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen an eight foot tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Yes. Yeah. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the ball of twine back in 56. Really? By the stories I could tell. No! <laughs> I've heard enough stories today. Have you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno <sighs> in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? That depends on your definition. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidna. What? Well, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, fish heads. What's with all the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. I, I just... No, I don't think I unlocked it because I think I already had it unlocked. Has Conroy Bumpus passed through here? Who is that? He's a country western star gone berserk with power. I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. Wow, talk about overkill. I mean, does it make the longest piece of uh, twine? You made it by almost a football That'll be field. All for now. Oh, that's cool. If I just click off mine, I have to click on the uh, goodbye. It's so disturbing. It's a one two hundred thousand scale model of the actual ball of twine. And it's only one two hundred thousand as stupid as the actual <laughs> ball of twine. <laughs> I can't pick that up. I can't use these things together. I can't use these things together. According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. If I'm gonna need any string in this game, it had better be a longer piece. <laughs> I can't use these things together. Now, I was told that I should look through the instruction manual, try to find it online. I think I'm going to do that. And what I'll do is I'll highlight like the comedic things with you guys um, in the next part. Words like big and large only begin to describe this thing. I think stupid and inane would be useful <laughs> Not to mention grotesque. <laughs> I can't cut off a piece of twine in the middle. That would destroy its status as the biggest ball of twine in the world. It would be funny. This is a completely unusable thing of a ball. <laughs> I don't think that'll work. I need. I can't use these things. Or what do you say? I don't think that'll work. I'd need something more snake-like to penetrate the twine. Ah. 
So I do need to use an object on the twine. Fun facts about the world's largest ball of twine. If laid out from end to end, the ball would stretch from here to the far side of Jupiter. Oh my god. <laughs> also, scientists theorize that by 2053, the sheer weight of the ball will push the Earth out of its orbit. <laughs> our planet on a collision course with the sun. Good thing my life expectancy is only six years. Aww. Way to take the short view, little buddy. Yeah, it's our job to humanity to destroy this thing. What can I use? All right, everything? I can't use these things together. Um, I only have ink I can't to use cut. these things together. I can't use these things together. Yeah, I don't really have anything that could cut anything. I can't use these things together. I can't use a large. I can't use these things together. Yeah, I don't have anything that could cut anything. Now let him a rampage. I don't think that'll work. No. I need something more snake-like to penetrate the twine. All right. So we know. We know we need money to get candy, to get to the uh, the trailer. Um, and now we know we need something snake-like to penetrate the uh, the twine. It's a tram launch leading to the Ball of Twine restaurant, and this sign points to the Twine Museum. Perfect timing? No! Ah! Oh, I thought it was perfect timing. Actually, it was perfect timing if I just wanted to miss it. I had to wait the longest possible time now. But it's back. Shake a leg, Max. And up, up, and up we go. I wonder what's the top here. Oh, there's a fish head. Wow. Okay. That's one long loose end. <laughs> Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. <laughs> Alright, let's look around. I actually can't look around at anything. Let's walk over then. Seafood fresh fish. Look at this guy. Safe enough. Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh, I love the expression. Seafood. It's a conveniently located pair of mounted binoculars. All right, let's walk. Can I walk this way, Nate? No. All right. Can't use anything there. Thankfully, I don't have to pay 25 cents. What am I looking at? Uh, hello? The fish gone by like 15 times. I'm sure this is somehow useful, but I'll be damned if I know how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you on that one. What's that? I can't use these things together. Some like power cord here. I can't use these things together. Could you bend this? <laughs> you know that? It looks pretty <laughs> It does. He looks safe enough. He's not my type. Can't talk to him. There we go. What you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f diner. <laughs> well, that makes sense. <laughs> How do you bend these tools anyway? You think I'm going to spill my f***ing secrets to you two mama looks? Yes. Maybe. 
How do you bend these tools? You think? No. Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to. <laughs> 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 Percent sign, hammer sand, dollar sign. Oh, and semicolon too. What are you f***ing you doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. Should I even bother asking you about Conroy Bumpus? No. Man. Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Oh, look at Bird in the background. He's Bruno the Bigfoot. Sam, he's speaking in tongues. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots of things. Like scratching those hard to reach places. Every that place one? is hard for me to reach. <laughs> would you like a free sample? Yes, I would. Sure. Just let me finish this one. All done. Thanks. Okay. Well, bye. I wonder. What is this gonna help him with? It's a perfectly good metric left-handed spanner that's been bent out of shape. Do I need anything bent? I don't really think so. Bend the magnet? Could you bend this? Are you mad? I can't bend that. What would I want bent? Could you bend this? Are you mad? I can't bend that. I don't think I have anything that would be Could bent. You bend this? Are you mad? I yeah. All right, so we got a guy who can bend things. Could you bend this? It's already twisted, Office K9. <laughs> can I use this to repair the wires? I can't use these things together. Yeah, I need someone to repair these wires. I can't use these things together. In order to turn the, uh... In order to turn this thing around. I can't use these things together. I can't use these because things Because if together. I turn this thing around, then I can get to the fish guy outside. I can't use these things to I can't use these things together. Okay, um, so I need some way to connect the wires. I've got to use this elevator. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because we need to rotate thing around to get out here. Okay, so there's a few things that we need. We need uh, money for the candy. We need something that could cut the yarn or the twine. And we need um, some way to fix the rotational device so we can get to the other side. Oh, uh, this adventure game is gonna, it's gonna be difficult because there's a lot of places and there's a lot of uh, Areas that you can go. So, like, let's take full throttle for example. In full throttle, you kind of had the one zone that you were in. So everything you needed, you knew was in that one zone. In this game, there's multiple zones you can go to. So there's multiple areas where you could, you know, find something. Not like, uh, I guess, Monkey Island in a way. Although Monkey Island was broken up in acts, I don't think it was this expansive. We got one, two, three, four, four areas we go. I guess Rocky Island has different um, rooms, like, like the towns and stuff, so that's comparable. I don't. I think all these are the same. All these burgers. I had no idea cacti were so festive. <laughs> uh, but there may be something different at each one. Okay, this one looks like it's. Well, still got the same guy there. Still got the candy there. You're awfully cheery for a minimum wage earner. All Snucky U graduates have completed courses in excessive and unwarranted cheerfulness. <laughs> what can I do for you? You know, what, you know what he looks like. He looks like Bernard from Day of the Tentacle. In my fact, he is Bernard, except he's got a mustache. Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Oh, that's great! We found Bernard. 
Okay, so it looks like the inside of these places are the same, but the outside may be different. So let's go to all the different outsides. Oh, look at this. It's the mother of all crawdads. <laughs> I like that one. That one's my favorite one right there. I don't see anything else here. What is this? Wait, what is this? And why is Max... Um, how do I... <laughs> if you ain't what? I have no idea what's going on. I'm earning zero points though. Scorched Earth. Yes, I'm, yes, yes, I did something. I'm causing chaos, I'm destroying signs. Although I've only destroyed two apparently. Max survives level one. Max gets nine bonus seconds on the next level. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, that was cool. I think I got a ton of points for that. Yes, yes. This is so hard to time. I don't know how to time it. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, darn it. We had a rhythm going there. We had a rhythm going there. Max rise level two. Max gets nine seconds on the next level. I have no idea what the point of this is, but it's kind of fun to watch uh, Max like destroy everything while on the top of a police car. Darn it, stop changing. Stop changing. I can't hit anything. Like I said, the timing is really hard. I think I'm doing it right and I'm not. See, it's so hard to time. Yeah, I have no idea how the timing works. Max survives level three. Well, how does he not survive? This reminds me of the, uh, the chicken game from Space Quest. Oh my god, that was a lot of signage. Alright, we had a rhythm there. Ah, uh, now I can't. Okay, we got one. We got two. Eight seconds to the next level. Ready, let's go. Come on, little buddy. Let's destroy mass signage. Can't. Can't. Can't hit any of the signs. Getting no points for this. There we go. I got some points. Alright, I got some more points. Well, whatever we're doing, we're kicking this bonus game's butt. Maybe. I mean, we are getting far in levels at least. Oh, I have no idea what the point is or how to get points or if I'm really even doing this right but it is fun just to randomly have acts of violence and destroying signs <laughs> this is like GTA except I'm not a huge fan of GTA nothing against the game just uh oh my god that was a lot I just never got into the franchise that's all Yes! Maybe I'm supposed to avoid the signs. Like, maybe that's what you're supposed to do, and I'm purposely, like, crashing into them. So, like, I, I think you're supposed to jump over the signs, not crash into them. 
Because when I crash into them, I lose a ton of time. But when I hop over them... Yeah, I, I think I'm supposed to avoid the signs, but like hop over them? Like there. It's just really hard to jump over them. There we go. Oh, look at that. I was on a roll there. Huzzah! Level 8. This may be the entire episode. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope this actually does something. But you know what, this is just a mini game in the game. I'm, I'm having fun. I mean, I, I grew up playing like Atari games where the game is literally just like you do one thing. And one of my favorite games was a game called Combat. It's basically like Pong, except you could move your like piece around and you were trying to destroy, you know, your enemy piece. And, and you got like tanks, you got airplanes. My favorite were the airplanes because they were fast, so you could fly around and you could go off the screen and go, you know, on the other side. And it was just so much fun. I played combat like forever. All right, yeah, I'm losing a lot more life because I'm like doing dumb things, but I'm trying to increase my score. And the only way I know how to increase my score is to like bounce off the things. Uh oh. Uh, I think I'm about to lose. Oh! We got zero bonus seconds. Uh oh. I, I think we met our uh, match here. Oh, this is not a good start. This <laughs> is not a good start. <laughs> no, but I'm sure Max is having fun though. <laughs> this is not a good start at all. I'm not I'm not hopping over anything. Okay, there we go. I, I hopped over something. Oh look at that! I hopped over like okay. I just like fly through everything. Alright, well that was fun. I have no idea what the point was, but it was fun. Sometimes things don't need points, right? I mean, yeah, I, I think so. Um let's see. World of Fish. World of Fish. I've got to use this car. I hear a distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. <laughs> There's a helicopter over there. Look at the guy, he's like watching this all. Okay. It's a bucket of fish. Actually, Sam, it's a slimy bucket of fish. I <laughs> wonder if this will in any way shape our thoughts on today's lunch. I am hungry. I haven't eaten medicine messing with me. Okay, we got a bucket of fish now. Fish feed. Maybe we have to use the bucket of fish with the guy at the top of the uh, twine. What a hunk of fillet. I'm naming it Bubbles. Aww, it's a do Aww, it is actually like as little bubbles. I can't pick that up. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. I love that thingamabob. I can't use these things together. Oh, why not? Max, you want to go on a ride? You just stole a fish. Oh, he fit the bubbles. Aww. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a fish eating another fish. I can't pick that up. Ah, uh, he's gonna do the same thing when I use an item. Alright, let's see here. Can I use anything here? 
walk this way. Is that a car in the fish's mouth? How did that happen? Look at this guy. That's a large fiberglass fish. I don't think there's anything inside. I can't pick that up. <laughs> All right, what do you guys see? It's still a large fiberglass fish. No, really, I can't pick that up. Hmm, weird. Hey, Max. Max, climbing this fish. Exactly. Each before beauty, Sam. Okay, right, maybe I have to climb in, and I had to get Max to climb in. Hey, Max, come here. I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> hey, Max, okay, what's here. the point of this? Here I come. I see that fish like moving. Maybe I have to knock it off the uh the, the thing here. Wretched refuse on a teeming shore. He's not my type. What's going on here? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I'm risking pneumonia standing in this creek. <laughs> That's what's going on. So, how are they biting? Uh, they're biting pretty well. In the last hour, they've bitten an arm, two fingers, and my nose. If they bite any better, I'll need reconstructive surgery. How are they biting nodes? You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Yeah! Because I'm more allergic to poverty. Alright, fair enough. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. Was that a Steven Spielberg joke? What do you know about Bigfoots? My great aunt Lois married a Bigfoot. He used to <laughs> shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Dis, Minnesota. How sad. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Malin. <laughs> Have you seen Conroy Bumpus? No, I try not to listen to country music. When I do, I usually have an uncontrollable desire to drink a lot of beer and do illegal things to <laughs> Oh my animals. god. You too? Wow. Don't move. Okay, right, so what I need to do, I need to find somebody to like disconnect this. Ah. Okay. Did the trick. Are you dance? I can't pick that up. And then we go in. Then we get Max in here. It's kind of wobbly in here. And then we get shot into this thing. And then we get picked up. Hey Max, come here. And then we fly to Minnesota, Minneapolis, Geronimo. wherever. Must admire the skill with which the wily uber trout stalks its prey. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. <laughs> we thought you were made of plaster. Oh, look, I'm trying to... Oh. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I think we killed him. Yep, we're right on the pile. Sam, I'm thinking. What's that noise? Here's the helicopter. It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. <laughs> Excellent. So we figured out this puzzle pretty easily. The question is, when we go to where we go, am I going to be able to... uh do everything we need to do. Oh, look at the fish! It's 
it's crying. Aww. Poor fish. <laughs> the helicopter crashes because we're flying off like this. Uh, I was hoping it would have killed the S in the sign. The sign falls over. <laughs> we have the twine and bounced up. So maybe we don't need to fix the uh, the turnaround thing. We just need to find a different way up. <laughs> look at look at the knife. I need a bigger knife. I told you I had a plan. Yeah, it worked. We need that loose end, Sam. I can't reach it from here. This is a completely unusable thing. I'm so, hey, Max, I've got another plan. I think I liked you better when you were <laughs> and climb over the rail. That wasn't so bad. What are you two doing? Oh my god, look at that knife. Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. <laughs> 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 they got it was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Thank God for all the fish hey, heads. How will we get our car back? Wait for it. That was convenient. Oh, that happened. Okay, um. It's 91 yards of twine. Okay, so now we got rope. I can't use these things together. I don't think he'd want that. I can't use these things together. All right, so we got rope. Still know how to cut it. I can't use these. Maybe later. <laughs> I can't use these things. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't use these things. I can't use these. I can't. I can't use. I, I can't use okay, these. So I can't I'm busy trying. Can't use, I can't use these things to get. Do. I can't. I can't. I, I can't use. The, I, I can't use. The, I can't use. The, I can't use these things. Trying to, to figure out if there I is. Use, I, I can't use. The, I, I can't use. The, I can't use. I can't use. Something these else I can do. I can't use. I, I can't use. The, I can't. I can't use these things. I can't use I can't use the I can't use these things. I can't use these things together. Okay, we got rope. I'm not really sure what the rope does. Hmm. So where to next? Where to next? We've been to every place, right? Go back. I I don't. Mom. Huh? Look, it's yet another cat. A nice round, chubby cat. Looks like he got caught in a threshing machine. <laughs> Are the birds hanging out? Other birds by the legs? What's going on up there? Hey, cute little kitty with a mangled eye. How are you today? Is that all you can say? Meow meow. <laughs> I guess he just slipped through the cracks of our public school system. <laughs> Are you a pirate? Meow. Here, kitty, kitty. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Sam, I really don't think we're going to get much out of this. <laughs> all right, can we use a fish with the cat? Cats like fish, right? I can't use these things together. Guess not. Got what are you looking at over here? I love this car. You're I'm, a sick puppy, Sam. I'm not trying to look at the car, I'm trying to look at the mailbox. 
Somebody's been ripping off the U.S. Postal Service. Steal the mail? Are you nuts? This is a completely un... I can't use these things together. Okay. Let's see if there's anything new in our room. Because sometimes when you bend in some places, some new things will happen. Okay, nothing there. New message? This is no time for chit chat. This is no time for chit. Oh boy, we've got a message. Gee, I hope it's something eerily provocative. Hey, you're the one who cut me off on Highway 364. You're a jerk. Ah, so there. <laughs> I think I had to click on like the top this of the. This is no time for chit chat. Use item thing. I know a little bit more about the controls now. What are you? Wait, what? Cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. I just grabbed a ton of cash from my mouse hole. Why is that a thing? Why is that? <sighs> I already cleaned it out. <sighs> Weird. Oh, okay. So I can fix the TV. Oh. We've been through a lot together, this TV and I. Uh, what are you watching now? Okay, this is still the same. <laughs> yeah, let's explore over here. Don't see anything. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Okay. All right, well, I'm glad I came back here. We did find money in office, not just, just not what I thought it would be. I mean, I, I don't know why we're storing our money away in a row, but then again, that's the last place I would look for money if I was the uh, crook, so. I mean, kudos to Sam and Max for thinking that out. All right, now we got the money. Uh, we can go and buy the, uh, buy things from the, uh, the store, right? Providing we have enough money. It's a bucket of fish. It's more money than we'll ever need. All right, so I, I take it that means it's a lot of money. We'll get the bomb. We'll get the candy. And we'll talk to Bernard. You're awfully cheery for a minimum wage earner. I'll All the courses. Um, I'd buy like the candy. Buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? I'll also take this crappy piece of bootleg <laughs> merchandise. Anything else? What can you tell me about this? It's hours of fun at home or on the road. Anything else? Nah, I think I'm good. Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. All right, we are making progress. Bit by bit by bit. And now we can go to the carnival. We can go to the tunnel of love. And uh, we'll be able to talk to the guy and hopefully get into the trailer. But for now, my name is Flatless Boy. This is your story based gaming channel. This is our blind let's play. Sam and Max hit the road for the PC. Uh, I love you all so very much again. Thank you for all the, the support in the last episode. Um, I can't tell you how, you know, when you're not feeling well and y your, your body just isn't working like the way you want it to, you kind of feel bummed out. But when I saw all that support on that first video, it just, it, 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 it made me so happy to know that I have the No Morning community and all of YouTube, and you guys are just absolutely amazing. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we will see what happens next time. And until then, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter 
And you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.